everyone and welcome to worship on this the 14th of February St Valentine's Day. Our opening words are taken from the first book of Chronicles chapter 16 verse 34. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good, his love endures forever. And these words lead us into our first hymn this morning, Love Divine or Love's Excelling. Let us say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. So, today is February the 14th, a day which many people and the commercial world tend to refer to as just Valentine's Day. But of course, it really is Saint Valentine's Day. I decided to do some research about St Valentine and discovered that there are various accounts of who he was and what he did and that there is very little evidence to support the stories. However, I did find out that he's not just the patron saint of lovers but also of beekeepers and epilepsy. Many of the accounts I've read of St Valentine's story are very similar. They tell of a man who courageously defied his emperor. But I tell you what, why don't we just let St Valentine tell his own story? Hello, let me introduce myself. My name is Valentine. I lived in Rome during the third century. At that time, Rome was ruled by an emperor named Claudius. I didn't like the emperor and I wasn't the only one. Claudius wanted a big army. He expected men to volunteer to join. But many men did not want to join and fight in the wars. They didn't want to leave their wives and families. And this made Claudius very angry. So what happened? Claudius decided not to allow any more marriages. Oh, by the way, did I mention that I was a priest? One of my favourite activities was to marry young people. Even after Emperor Claudius passed his law, I kept on performing marriage ceremonies, but in secret, of course. One night, when I was performing a ceremony, we heard footsteps and it was really scary. Thank goodness the couple I was marrying escaped in time, but I was caught. I was thrown into jail and told that my punishment was death. I tried to stay cheerful and sometimes young people would come to visit me or throw notes or flowers to my prison window. One of these young people was the prison guard's daughter. Her name was Augustine. Her father allowed her to visit me in my cell. Sometimes we would sit and talk for hours. On the day I was to die, February the 14th, I left a note for Augustine, thanking her for her kindness and friendship. I signed it, love from your Valentine. St Valentine is, of course, linked with romantic love, but that started me thinking about the other kinds of love that we experience in our lives. The Bible tells of four types of love all named with Greek words. And I've got my big Valentine love heart here. Oh, it's a bit heavy. There we are. I hope you can see it. Oh. The first, the first love, and I'm going to try and get my pronunciations correct as well, is storge. And that describes the love for one's family. Valentine heart. The second type of love describes romantic love, and that is eros. And then the third kind of love is called philia. And this describes the love between friends and fellow human beings. And the fourth kind of love is a word which I actually realised I'd come across in readings before several times but didn't really know what it meant. And that one is ugarpe, ugarpe. And this describes the pure, perfect, unconditional love 
from God. So, this is the type of love that God gives to us. It's pure, it's perfect, and it's unconditional. It could be described as the king of love. towards the end of our service, I'd like to revisit one of the most famous of Bible readings taken from a letter that Paul wrote to the Corinthians. I'm sure most of you will have guessed to which reading I'm referring, the one that's often read out at weddings. I had it at my wedding. And yes, it's the one where Paul describes love. When I hear these words, I always find myself asking, do I perceive love in this way? I hope I do. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonour others. It is not self-seeking and it is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. 
Corinthians 13, verses 4 to 8. With these words ringing in our ears, I wish you love on this special day and I hope to see you all very, very soon. In the meantime, let the Lord bind us together in love. today's service with a blessing. God bless you all on this special day. God keep you in his care and may his blessing and his love go with you everywhere. Amen.